Hi, I'm Dave with Equalizer Hitch. Today the video that we're going to do for you will show you how to properly set up the weight distribution on your equalizer hitch. Now we've already taken the time to set the hitch head to the correct height on the shank. We've uh, also set the brackets up back on the trailer so that's ready to go and for this video we're just going to focus on the weight distribution. This is uh, section 6 of the equalizer owner's manual and we're going to be using that weight distribution setup table today as well. So the first thing that we need to do is we get the truck and the trailer aligned with each other and we have it set up so you can see they're straight in the line and then we leave all of the weight off the hitch. So our first measurement now comes from the front wheel wells with no weight back on the hitch at all and that gives us our base starting measurement so let's go do that. So this first measurement that you want to take goes right from the ground through the front axle and you pick your spot right here at the front axle to, or front wheel well to measure and this one is right at about 38 inches. Now the next measurement that we're going to take is dropping all of the tongue weight of the trailer onto that hitch and what you're going to see is the weight come off the front axle which will show by the front wheel well lifting up and then we'll take our second measurement here. Okay so this is now we're dropping the full tongue weight of the trailer onto the hitch but without any weight distribution whatsoever so the rear axle and the tr tow vehicle are taking the full tongue weight of the trailer you can see now we've got space here that's completely loose all of our tongue weights on the hitch itself now we're going to remeasure at that exact same spot on the front axle okay so here we are and this one we've come back up to just about 38 and a half inches or just a little less than that. Now we're going to use this weight distribution setup table that we have here. We've marked our line A, that was our unloaded vehicle height, which is 38 inches at the front fender. And now with the weight on there, it's coming up to 38 and a half inches. So ideally, what we're looking for with correct weight distribution is to get at least halfway back. So we need to get back to 38 and a quarter and even lower than that back down to the 38 is good but we want at least halfway back which would be 38 and a quarter so now we're going to put our weight distribution bars the spring arms on and we'll put the weight distribution back into the vehicle and see how that affects us so right there we've got most of the weight off the there's the weight off the jack and now those spring arms are holding the weight of that tongue okay so we've got our weight distribution set up our spring arms are, are carrying the weight of that tongue and we're going to go check our front axle and see where we are again see if we need to make some adjustments. Now you can see we're actually at about 37 and 3 quarters from where I was looking at it before so this one is actually slightly over adjusted so that means we've got either the L brackets too high or we've got too many washers in our uh, pre-angle setup. So we're going to go take one of the washers out and that'll release some of the weight distribution and that should put us back right down about 30 inches or 38 inches where we want to be. So to remove this washer what we're going to have to do then is take the hitch down, uncouple it and then we'll remove these bolts here and we'll take one of the spacer washers out. That'll put a little bit less pre-angle on the hitch or preload, which means that it won't have to come up so far here which will give it less weight distribution overall and that should get us I think right about the 38 inches which is about the best weight distribution you can get. Alright so Jason now is uh, what we're doing here is we're backing off the angle set bolt a little bit that loosens it up here that's good and now we'll remove the shank bolts and we'll take one of the washers out of the head. So we remember which hole we had this in. This, these are the holes we had that in to get it set the correct height for the hitch ball. Now Jason's just going to remove one of the washers. 
and then we'll place it right back in the same place there. Now this is what you would do on the initial setup. You of course wouldn't want to do this every time if you had to adjust your hitch if you changed the loading of your trailer. You know, maybe you got full water tanks or you're loaded for a long trip instead of a weekend getaway. In that case, if you notice that you needed a little bit different weight distribution, you would just use the adjustments back here at the L brackets and move them up a hole or down a hole, and it would do exactly the same thing. But since this is going to be kind of a permanent setup, we want to get it right the first time. Now we've got our spring arms back on the L brackets, so we'll lower it down and put the weight back on the spring arms, back on the hitch, and we'll recheck that uh, front axle again. Now if we take a look right here close we can see we're back just about exactly where we started. So that's perfect. That's that's as as much weight distribution as you want. You don't want to go over that uh, because that'll uh, be a dangerous situation but back to where you started is great. Your rear wheel well will be a little bit lower and that's where you want it to because you want some of that trailer weight resting on the rear axle to keep that more firmly planted on the ground and steady the, the combination of the tow vehicle and the trailer as well. So that's what I would consider just about as good a setup as you can get. So you can see now with the weight distribution on there the truck and the trailer are sitting much more level instead of having a sag at the hitch like it was before without the weight distribution. Alright, so in this video we've been showing you how to adjust your equalizer to get it set up for correct weight distribution. This trailer and truck that we have here needs to have more weight distribution. The other one that we've been showing you was over distributed. So as you can see here, you've got a little bit of a sag that you notice in the front of the trailer and the truck where they come together at the hitch. And that's a good indication that you're going to need more weight distribution so Jason and I are going to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the uh, weight distribution setup measurements in reverse. So we've got it right now set up with the trailer uh, coupled up, the weight distribution engaged. We're going to take our first wheel well measurement then we're going to go backwards through that. We're going to take the weight distribution off and then we're going to take the trailer off completely and get the unloaded vehicle weight. We're going to compare those measurements to see how we are on weight distribution before we start messing with the attitude of the trailer. So you can see right here at this measurement, we're looking at about uh, 37 and 3 quarters. Now we'll take the weight distribution off and do it again. Now we've taken the weight distribution off, but we still have the trailer coupled up, so we have the full tongue weight of the trailer on the tow vehicle. And the thing that we're going to do now, we took our first measurement, 37 and 3 quarters, that was with the weight distribution. This measurement is going to go here on line B, so you can see that's tow vehicle coupled but no weight distribution. So let's see what that is. And we're getting about 38 and a quarter here. We'll mark that down and now we'll take the trailer off completely and, and get the unloaded vehicle height. All right, now we're completely uncoupled. So this is the original uh, tow vehicle height measurement that we would take. That's on line A of the weight distribution chart here. So we're gonna take a look and see what that is. And if you look right here, we're about 37 and 3 eighths. So when we take a closer look at that, the ideal is to get your unloaded height and then you're coupled with no weight distribution height and then you want to come at least halfway back once you set your weight distribution up. And in the case of the measurements that we've taken here, these are pretty good. However, the problem is still that we have the attitude issue with the trailer. It's, it's tipping down too far. So we're going to undo the hitch head. We're going to recheck the... Uh, level measurements on the trailer and then we're going to set up the hitch head again correctly and check our weight distribution following the correct weight distribution setup method in the instructions.
Now we're going to check the trailer or level, and as you can see right up underneath here, Jason's just measuring right there to the bottom of that frame member, and he's done that on the front and the back, and we're right at about 24 inches, so we know our trailer's parallel to the ground. Now we're going to set the hitch head to the correct height using that as a gauge. All right, now you can see one of the issues with this initial setup is right here we've got our hitch ball set at 22 inches. But back here at the coupler height, bring that. If you look right here, this is about where we want that coupler height to measure. And from here, it's looking like that needs to be set at about 26. So we need to take the hitch head off the shank completely, and we're going to probably have to flip that shank over and bring the whole hitch head up four inches so that the top of our hitch ball is up to that 26 inches where the coupler height is. And now you can see we've made the adjustments from the original setup. We've added a spacer washer down in here and we've tightened up the angle set bolt which you can see up underneath the hitch head here. Now we're going to recheck our measurements and with this shank we tried it in the rise position but we were a little bit too high and that would have put it up in the way for the tailgate to come down so we've compromised and we're going to go just slightly lower with this hitch ball set up so we're at about 25 inches even though the ideal would be up to about 26 but we think we can make that work so that's how we're going to go ahead with it here So you can see at our measurements here, we're back to about our 37 and 3 eighths, which was our uh, uncoupled, unloaded height. We put that here on our weight distribution from before. So what I've done is I've just come to the notes section and we're going to go back through setting this up correctly. So here's a, that chart again and we're going to mark that down here, 37 and 3 eighths. And now we're going to drop the weight of the tongue onto the hitch, but we're not going to set up any weight distribution and we'll get that measurement and then we'll calculate our halfway back point from there. So we've dropped the tongue weight of the trailer now, but we don't have any weight distribution set up. Our original measurements when we started this showed it at about 38 and a quarter. So we're going to check and see we should come back pretty close to what that was there. And this has come back but not quite that far so 38 and an eighth so we'll mark that under our new setup measurements here and so what we've got is now we take 38 and an eighth and we subtract 37 and 3 eighths from that that gives us three quarters of an inch half of that is 3 eighths of an inch so we want to come halfway back so we want to take that 3 eighths of an inch off this measurement so to have at least the minimum amount of weight distribution set up, we want to come back to 37 and 3 quarters of an inch. Because that distance is halfway between these two. So we'll put the weight distribution on, set the spring arms up, and come back and recheck this again. Now we've got our weight distribution back in place. Our spring arms are up on the L brackets. We've got it transferring the load forward. So we're going to go back and our, check our final measurement. Our target, if you remember, we wanted to at least to get 37 and 3 quarters. And then if you can get all the way back to 37 and 3 eighths, that's even better. So we're looking here. We're just under 37 and a half, not quite to 37 and 3 eighths. So we've done, done a pretty good job. So we'll call that 37 and a half. You can see that that's pretty close to our halfway back. It's not more than, it's not lower than this. If you were down in the 37 and 1 8 or 37, then you'd be over adjusted and you'd want to take some out. But this is between those two numbers here and it's closer to this one. So our weight distribution is just about as good as you can get it on here. And we're going to call that good. Now the last thing, if we take a look at the overall attitude of the trailer, that sag in the middle where the truck was has gone. We've been able to take that out. And we've got our trailer sitting much more parallel to the ground. 
So overall, everything looks pretty good and we're gonna tow with it like that and see how it tows.